Special products refer to these three. In other words, now, with the quadratic expression, we will compare the terms to see if it resembles any of these three. If it does, it means that there's a highly likely chance that I can factorize the expression into this form. Let's look at the first one. 4 c squared minus d squared. Now, 4 is a square number. So, I can rewrite 4 as 2 squared. And this part, we can rewrite it in this form. Now, let's do a comparison. It looks like the third special product. Let's do a comparison here. a square and 2c square. b square and d square. Negative sign. In other words, I can rewrite it in this format, which will give us 2c plus d and 2c minus d. Let's do a check to see that this is correct. And to do that, we shall expand this to to see if we get 4c squared minus d squared. 2c times 2c will give us 4c squared. 2c times negative d will give us negative 2cd. d times 2c will give us positive 2cd. And d times negative d will give us negative d squared. And these two terms will be cancelled off. And it's exactly the same as given. Therefore, this is the completely factorized form of 4c squared minus d squared. Next, look at this. 4x squared plus 4xy plus y squared. Let's compare. It looks like the first special product. And now, we should try to express 4x squared in the form of a squared and 4xy as a form of 2 times ab. And of course, this looks the same. With this, we can rewrite it in this form. This will give us 4xy. Next, we need to express it as 2ab. So it means that we need to have something that assembles this and this part. Yes, compare. You notice? And so, it is 2x plus y square. And to check, simply expand this, you will get 4x square plus 4xy plus y square. This one. Do a comparison. It looks like a second special product. Rewriting. Check. 3p holding square will give us 9p square. 2 times 6pq will give us 12pq. 2q holding square will give us 4q square. And Let's rewrite it and realize that we can re-express in this form which shows that this is the same as this 
this is the same as this and when we multiply everything together we get 12 pq and therefore we will get this and if we were to expand this we will get 9p square minus 12 pq plus 4q square hence this is the completely factorized form let's try this in one minute Nine a square can be written as three a holding square minus b plus c holding square. Now it looks like the the special product. And so we can write it as three a plus b plus c and three a minus b plus c and we simplify we get 3a plus b plus c and 3a minus b minus c which will be the completely factorized form of 9a square minus bracket b plus c holding square